In this video, we'll talk about another relatively simple component in BSP, the ellipsoid. Now here, I've added an ellipsoid, given it some more tessellation, and shaded it to give an example of what this will look like. Here we have an isometric view, a left view, top view, and a front view. Now let's click on this geometry. Under the Design tab, we have control over only three design parameters. The radius in A, or what can be thought of as the length radius, the B radius, or the width radius, and the vertical radius here, C. Now, notice how we can adjust these, and by adjusting the radius in A, in B, or in C, you can create an ellipsoid of any shape and size that you like. Now, just by adjusting those three parameters, you can create really interesting components, and if you really wanted to, let's say that you wanted to make a flat ellipsoid or ellipsis disk. So let's make this zero, and note how these two have collapsed to a planar line, but you have a lot of facets here where you can see the surfaces on the front and back are overlapping. This is going to cause some issues if you try and use this for any type of analysis, say in component geometry, aerodynamics, what have you. But if you make it any very small positive value, all of a sudden the surfaces are fine. So if you need, for whatever reason, to create an ellipse or a circle that's just a surface representation as a placeholder in your model somewhere, you can do that by having one of these radii be a very small positive value and setting the other two as your other coefficients.